It's been more than nine years since District Court Chief Judge Francis Tydenko Gatewood appointed federal receiver Gershman, Brickner, and Bratton to manage the trash system. This after GovGuam was found in violation of federal clean water laws at the old Ordot dump. GSWA officials laid out a plan for the year-end turnover, but Judge Gatewood expressed disappointment with what she described as a not very smooth transition. Several issues were raised during the status conference. GSWA still needs to hire someone to manage its finances. Oversight Chairman Tom Anna rushed through a bill Monday, quickly signed by the governor, to nearly double GSWA's budget and also to authorize a controller position. GSWA says they hired a controller who will be here December 11th, but GBB says three weeks is not enough time for the new hire to understand the system. Also discussed, GSWA's need for new rules and regulations. Board Chairman Andrew Gale says the plan is to adopt what has been successfully used by the receiver. He says GBB, though, has not provided that yet. GBB counters that it put together the narratives and it's up to GSWA to formalize the rules and regs. In the end, GBB Representative David Manning says they're ready to terminate, but he was quick to add that he doesn't believe GSWA is ready. Solid Waste new general manager Greg Martin, though, says trash is trash, and he has a good grasp of operations. Judge Gatewood may decide on a partial transition, giving GSWA control of administration and operations, but keeping GBB on to handle post-closure issues at the old or not dumb. The EPA remains concerned about remediating methane gas still seeping from the tons of garbage buried at Ordot. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto.